Okay, thanks. Um, okay, so we want to show you Atlas today. It's basically Formula One for drones, and if you're wondering why drone racing, believe it or not, it's coming sooner than you think. Uh, why? Because it is really, really cool, and uh, for a few, uh, some other few reasons, one of them are here. So it's fun, it's pretty safe. The sky is the limit, you can basically do it anywhere you want. There's no age limit, it's affordable, and uh, it's fun, I forgot to say. Yeah, uh, we thought about doing directly a demo, so you see what, what we did in these two days. Uh, let me just exit, okay. So this is our app, we're gonna do the short demo, I hope you, see the, uh, you saw the other one. Basically, we, will, we have two modes, once you can race, uh, with your drone, but the other one is to spectate. We live in the YouTube area, so we want to stream our experience, and I'm going to join this race that uh, Alberto is organizing as a spectator, so I'm going to view, and uh, it's a bit small, the screen, but we have a race running, and I'm in the waiting room right now, uh, in the waiting room until the race starts. I can watch some cool pre-60 videos. Uh, <laughs> the experience is better with the cardboard, but yeah, as soon as Alberto is Finished and he starts. So the spiders are joining right now to the waiting room because we are waiting for the <laughs> Yeah, so in here, and as you can see, the more people who join, the more you see in here. And after there are some pilots, the race can start, and he can start watching the race, which is running here. Okay, and Alberto is running. I want to see what he's doing. So this is basically the track, it's the office next door, if you're wondering. And I'm synchronized to Alberto's view of his map. We don't have uh, videos right now because it's still not <laughs> technically possible, but we have photos from the Panono camera. And basically, these are targets which we have to fight to. Uh, it basically looks like this. Alberto is flying too. He's a bit slow right now, but we're still going and going. And oh, what is here? A commercial for a spectator if he just uh, wants to watch. Uh, so this is our way to monetizing. And this is something that happens when he gets into a trap, just like Mario Kart. Uh, his uh, view changes and he has to get out of it again. Uh, he's still trying, he's still trying. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And that's basically it. It's a platform for organizing drone races, but also streaming them and also with some ideas of monetization. So to show how we did this, we go again here. It's uh, racing drones in virtual reality. This is still not possible, but probably when we meet here next year, it's gonna be normal and everybody's gonna be talking about it. We are broadcasting in three, uh, 360 degrees, so the pilot has his view, but we can also see what the pilot sees. We can change players. We have interactive waiting rooms to give a full experience if you have the cardboard, which is not here right now, but uh, we use it like on our eyes. And we have racetracks that we generated with help of AI in order to be able to organize it in the room. Yeah. Three minutes up. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Any questions? Um, you also showed me something how I can set the race, right? With the targets. I know it didn't fit in the three minutes, but I still, because I still don't really okay. get it, and I want to. Uh, is it okay? We don't have it. No, no. Uh, so the idea is that you can set up race wherever you want. You have only to use this or whatever you have, that there are landmarks. You put over the floor, and when the room pays over, it gets the landmark, and he knows in which part of the truss he's driving. And the other part of the idea it is that if the uh, system is capable of locating the, the landmarks, he's also capable of tracking them. So. Uh, it can detect in which direction the drone is moving by knowing where is the position of the landmark. And this way, I can create a telemetry system because I can know what I am telling the drone to do or where to move, and I am, no I am knowing what the drone is doing. So if I am telling the drone, go to the right, and he's going to the left, there is something wrong. And yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Another question? Only some ideas, you know. Uh, one possible output is, is a live drone race in 360, but with a marker you can all, uh, go uh, ahead and put it in a virtual reality environment, uh, like in a, in a game of environment, and you can explore the Game of Thrones world and, and then buy live racing in a, in a real world. Because even if, if we could make uh, a player 
play online with other players that they are not in the same place. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. They, it has a lot of ideas and applications. We had basically also built a part of controlling the drone, but the time yeah. was not exactly. enough. Okay, thank you.